Well, now the epoxy is dried, and the wires have been soldered to the LED, and I've also put a little bit of epoxy here on these wires as a little bit of a stress relief. Um, you can install it in your fixture. Uh, this particular fixture can be a little tricky, but we'll uh, get it in nonetheless. Okay, first I'm going to throw the wires through here. Next I'm going to plug it in the socket, and I've already uh, marked it out for polarity reasons. I've actually soldered the ends of the wire, so it you know, it's rather stiff and will go into the original uh, halogen bulb socket quite cleanly. Okay. Just going to tighten up this lock nut. And the fun job of using these little uh, bent tabs to hold the fixture in itself. And I'll put that about halfway into the fixture itself. Okay, there you have it. Now it's in place. I'll test the unit. I already have this wired up over here for testing purposes to the constant current driver. And it's a fairly bright, wide beam. Um, quite nice. It's about two and a half watts. Uh, the original unit was uh, 20. Um, very similar characteristics, but much, much more of a pure white um, light output. All right. Well, here's the finished product. Um, what we haven't shown you is we installed a uh, wireless controller to turn the LEDs on and off. Um, you can see that works pretty well. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we've also installed the uh, constant current controller, you know, up in like an attic space above along with the wireless controller. Uh, well, this video should give you a basic idea of converting incandescent fixtures to LED fixtures. And you can find more information and tips on our website. Thanks.